What up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in New York City at Stadium Goods with platinum rapper Roddy Rich. Wow. Gonna do some sneaker shopping today. Gonna see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's gonna buy some sneakers. Let's get into it. Let's go. Roddy, I read an interview. You said hobbies growing up, building your shoe collection and playing basketball. Did those go hand in hand and were you buying a lot of shoes? I mean, when I was playing basketball, I used to just play on like, I don't know, like Hardens or like, okay. like 11s. 11s my favorite Jordan was. I don't know, I'm more of a classic, like classic like guy. Classic I heard no one to 13s and that's it. I heard after yeah, 13s, yeah. we have a mutual friend that said, listen, after 13s, he yeah. doesn't buy anything yeah. after 13s. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. So no 14s, not even the 16s or 17s. Uh, maybe if I feel them, if I, if I fuck with them, but it usually be just one through 13. So one thing I wanted to talk about, you got your name from something that happened in the cafeteria at school. Yeah. Not many people may know that. Yeah. Describe that story about what happened. Um, that's crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah, so one day I was, um, I just had a lot of money on me and I was like, I'm gonna just buy everybody food like in my class or whatever. Then this girl just started calling me Roddy Rich after that. So the name just kind of just stuck. Right. Was that high school or? Yeah, it was like the beginning of high school, yeah. And then in high school, how many times were you switching out kicks? Was it always important to you to come fresh? I mean, I ain't really have a, like a mama. Like my mom, she she had money like a little bit, but like I I had to go and buy my shoes. So like I just built up my collection just just steadily. Just you feel me? But now I just be buying whatever I buy whatever I want. You know, you said you came up playing basketball in middle school, but you had some basketball shoes in middle school. What yeah. do you remember as like the first signature sneaker that you really liked? I mean, back back when I was a young young nigga, uh, my my pops he had uh, bought me my, my LeBron jersey like okay. first, so like that was my little my little thing. I bought like some LeBrons. Like, I had these. Okay. Some of these. And then you wore some KDs and Pearls, I think you yeah, said. So yeah, you were yeah. in the mix with basketball yeah, sneakers. Yeah. You know, you said LeBron, your dad bought you the jersey. Yeah. What's it like he's posting, start with me? What was that moment like for you? Um, he's been supporting since um, Feed the Streets too. Like just, he posted down below at first. He just been like tapped in and stuff. So like, it's cool to just see like somebody I grew up watching, like just supporting me. Like it's always dope, like it's crazy. Did you hit him up after that or have you yeah, guys? Yeah, yeah, we had a conversation. I was supposed to pull up and watch it son play too. Brian Bronny. Yeah. What I love about Bronny is like he's gonna come up with all you guys. You yeah. know what I mean? The young crop of rappers and Bronny, like his basketball career and your careers are gonna go. So yeah, yeah, that's yeah. gonna be exciting to yeah. watch. I saw Gunna comment on the post like this guy's really the best A&R. Do yeah, you think yeah, LeBron yeah. could be an A&R in the business? Of course. Yeah. Of course. I feel like just with his world with all of being like someone who pushed the limits on everything, I feel like he for sure could be whatever he want to be. I feel like anybody could be whatever they want. Definitely, to be. but he has a good ear. Yeah. You said LeBron is like your all-time favorite, but I've seen you in Giannis's jersey. Yeah. You think he's like the next guy? Is he one of your favorites, I mean, or you just like the colors? I, one thing about me, when I go from city to city, I really just collect jerseys, even oh. if I don't know. I mean, of course I know who he is, but mm -hmm. it'd it be an old school jersey or a movie jersey. My brother tell me about. I just buy it just to like go look at the movie or go see what the character was. It's just something I just do just. Just on my little turn. And it's an older brother who's putting you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I saw a Made in America, I think you wore the Iverson jersey. Yeah, and that yeah. was a big moment for yeah. you. Meek Mill hooked and it Philly, up. Yeah, exactly. So you're, yeah, you're sentimental with yeah. those jerseys. Yeah. Closet look like a Mitchell and S store or what? No, it's, it's, it's coming up. Coming Good. up, yeah. Roddy, you're also a big fan of old school Air Maxes. What models are your favorite? We have the 95s, 97s. 97 for sure. Had a pair of these. Gold uh, ones. Just, I just wear those when I'm just relaxing in a sweatsuit, you know. Just, Comfortable shoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're from Compton. We got to talk about a Compton-centric shoe, yeah. Cortez's. Yeah. Were you a big there Cortez you guy or what? There you go. I wasn't a big Cortez. Okay. I never bought a pair of Cortez's. But, I know that's like an OG thing, like not really OG, it just if that's your swag. Like I always was just into like the more of the Jordan, just just different. But I know, shout out to Dot K Dot, he you know yeah. that's that's his Cortez, but that's his drip. You know what I'm saying? I was just I just was different. Another big thing in Compton, buying sneakers at swap meets. Your older brother was Bird at the swap meets buying sneakers or I mean, what? Did, he, yeah, did OGs I mean, that, ever I mean, tell you about that? We I went to the swap meets. You okay. know what I'm saying? I went to the swap meets, but. I just, I don't know. I was more like Air Force Ones and, 
Tim's. I wore okay. Tim's and Air Force Ones for real. I ain't really, like we talking about just my basic sneaker. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like that just was my. For someone who doesn't sneaker. know the swap meets, what exactly is it like? All right, so you got the fake jewelry, okay. and you got some cool jewelry in there okay. that you could buy. You just gotta go to the right person. I mean, sweat, they got regular stuff. You um, can come up on some cool sneakers though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go in there and buy, buy the Jordans when they come out and shit. Okay. You just gotta make sure they're authentic. Got it. That's the whole point. Someone who co-signed you on the West Coast, of course, Nipsey Hussle, you yeah. know, Racks in the Middle comes yeah. out. I see tweets like, they gotta give Roddy a Grammy for his humming on that song. What's it like, you know, unfortunately he passed, but to see the response to that song and him co-signing you early. I mean, he, when, when the song was made, he told me like, the streets really gonna feel this, little mm -hmm. bro. He told me this. So it just like, just to see it manifest, it was crazy. And the thing is like, I had to buckle down and just really have serious conversations about just expanding business on different levels, you know? So that's just what it game. Absolutely. Yeah. And you know, he dropped the Puma collection. Yeah. They saw it through even with him passing and all the proceeds went to his foundation. Yeah. What do you think about that move? And were you excited to see that's that Puma should, collection? Yeah. Exactly. I posted it and everything. I yeah. support every time, every time uh, the Marathon Clothing put something out, we support. You feel me? So yeah. it's, it's, it's all love on my end. Well, talked about everything. Now, easy part, browse the shows, see what you're gonna buy. All right, for sure. I might have to go ahead and just cop these ones right here. Going right with the heat right away. Yeah, yeah. Fine. I'm gonna go get these for the city. Nice. You already know. I'm gonna go ahead and get the flu games. Oh, yeah. My first sold out show in LA, I had the flu at the Novo. I had to do the show the whole time with the flu, so. And I gotta go with the Cactus Jack. Man, Travis Scott just brought me out of Astro World, so I feel like I gotta support him. That's so sure. heat. Okay, your total today is gonna be $9,303.37. Uh, Here you go. So, Roddy came through, got some great pickups. Thanks so much for taking the time. You already know. Make sure everyone checks out the album. Please excuse me for being antisocial and the new tour coming soon.